Hey guys, welcome back to A Special Life. My name is Akela Edwards. Remember to click the subscribe button if you're new and give this video a thumbs up. Today I'm going to be talking about the NAM. So let's get started. NAM stands for nasoalveolar molding and it's not required for every kid. It, it kind of depends on how severe the child's cleft case is and what your doctor suggests. Some kids have a super wide gap in their lip and have a really severe cleft palate. And what a NAM does is it helps to bring those pieces together in preparation for their lip repair. In most cleft lip cases, your doctor will probably suggest taping the lip, which is what we did as well as the NAM. We were asked to use Nexcare tape because it stretches. All we had to do with Levi's bilateral cleft lip was put it over his lip and it helped to bring the pieces closer. Even with a really severe cleft lip and palate, some parents choose not to do it because they can't pay for it or they don't think it's worth it. And that's okay, you can still have your lip repair and surgeons do an amazing job, but from my experience, the NAM is so worth it. Each doctor is going to be different, so how the NAM looks and assembles will be different. Your doctor will make a plan with you to decide how long your child will need to wear the NAM. Let me show you what our NAM looks like and how it works and the benefits of it. So this is our NAM device. It's kind of old looking and yellow from all the mucus and stuff. To get the NAM fitted, our orthodontist used this instant cement stuff that he put in Levi's mouth and let it hold for a little bit and it formed it. And then all you really need is some rubber bands and next care tape. So first what you wanna do is cut off some next care tape and this is pretty wide and you want it to go around the little rubber bands. So what you wanna do, you can just pull this and rip it like in half. So now that the tape is around the rubber band, you just close the tape and then push down really hard so that it's nice and tight and it doesn't come off. And then once you have both of your rubber band and the tape, I just had to put the rubber band right around this little notch on that side and then on this side. And then I would put the NAM inside Levi's mouth and tape it to his cheeks. He absolutely hated when I would put it in and take it out because it was super uncomfortable but I would have to retape it every single morning so that the tape would actually do its job. Otherwise, it gets flimsy and stretches out, and then there's no point to it. This is Levi wearing his NAM. You can tell in this picture how miserable he was and how much he absolutely hated it. We always kept him in a swaddler. It helped him to sleep better, and then he couldn't take his arms out to pull and grab at the tape or at the NAM. Sometimes we would take him out of the swaddlers and then just put the cute little mittens on his hands or socks work really great too, just so that he wasn't hurting himself. After the first three weeks of wearing the NAM, we went back to see his orthodontist and the adjustment that he made was that we had to wrap the rubber band around twice on the little notch and it made it a lot tighter. Levi only had to wear his NAM for about two and a half months his lip repair was when he was about three months. And I will admit, those NAM months were the longest and hardest months of Levi's life so far. He pretty much would cry constantly unless he was eating or sleeping. He refused to eat from the bottle. And luckily in Levi's case, he has had a G-tube. So we would feed him with that most of the time. And we would have to experiment with trying to use a spoon to feed him just so that he was getting some kind of experience with eating by mouth. But he couldn't suck on a binky and the tape would irritate his skin a lot. So there were times that I would just take it out for a full day and give him a break. And we didn't lose any progress from doing that. We did finally get to a point where we would just take it out every single night because it helped him sleep better. And it helped us sleep better. You gotta do what's best for your child and for you to stay sane. So when dealing with the NAM, try and experiment with other things to make it more bearable. But I can promise you that it does give you good results. The picture on the left is Levi the very first day he was born. The picture on the right is the day right before his surgery. You can tell a huge difference on his lip from wearing the NAM for two and a half months. So that's all I've got regarding the NAM. If you have any additional questions, remember to put them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already and click on the bell so you can be notified of future videos. 
I really hope to see you in the next video. Bye guys.